It's not all good news at the WACA tonight. It may have hosted its last Ashes series. The Perth test prompted a flood of complaints about the stadium and development plans have been scrapped. According to some cricket fans, the WACA has dropped the ball. There's not enough shady areas. It just looks a bit outdated, really. That's not the only complaint. There's the queues for the toilets and taps, crowded walkways, lack of staff, and on the first day, the ticket debacle. We're in the 21st century here, and we're ex expected to enjoy this. It's a little bit, it's a bit over the top. The International Cricket Council and Cricket Australia agree. They think the WACA doesn't meet international standards, and this could be the last series played here. That's absolute rubbish. Absolute rubbish, I can say that. Um, uh, without any doubt that test matches will be played here again. The WACA adds an extra 5,800 seats to increase its capacity to just under 24,000 for the Ashes series. But it's still the smallest ground of all the venues in contention to host matches. Possibly in the future there's a 60,000 New Earth Stadium being built now that Test Cricket coming across back the could be over there across the river. And a revamp could take a while. The WACA was relying on apartment sales as a part of a redevelopment plan to fund a facelift, but that's now been scrapped. And we'll continue to talk to the government and Cricket Australia and anyone else we need to about how we improve those things. Others like it just the way it is. Well, we're from Melbourne and I love how small it is. I love that there's grass for the children to sit on and play on and that you feel like you're part of the action. They're wrong. It's perfectly good enough for me. I'd love to come back and see England win another day. Mia Brankov, Nine News.